Well, we're out for a walk. <laughs> and it's very cold out, so I'm gonna have to do this quick. I don't know if my battery's gonna last. And Angel's paws are getting cold. Uh, no wind chill though, it's about minus 20, minus 25. No wind chill, so it's not too bad, nice and sunny. So we go out for a walk. I wanted to show you um, a plant, it, well, bush, a ground growing bush uh, that some people on YouTube are saying is edible. It is and it isn't. <laughs> if you get this wrong, it'll kill you. So you need to know this. So it's called Canada U. That's Canada U. Now, this place is full of it, but you can't see it because it's all snow covered. And the stuff that's not snow covered has been browsed by uh, deer. They just love this stuff. So, it looks like a uh, eastern hemlock, okay? First of all, it's not a tree, it's a bush. Uh, so it's along the ground. So I'll show you what a hemlock looks like in a, in a bit, but I'll take my glove off for just a minute here. The main difference is this uh, shrub does not have stoma lines or stomata lines. Um, hemlocks don't do. It's a white bar or two white bars under its needle. And actually that's how the, the tree breathes. Um, anyway, it doesn't have that. It also has little pointy things at the end. Okay, so no stone, no stoma lines, no stoma lines or stomata lines, white lines, no bars, and it's got a little point at the end as well. So that's Canada Hue. I gotta get my club back on. Um, so that's Canada Hue. So, so here we go here. Yeah. So uh, this again is Canada Hue. It's not Eastern Hemlock. Eastern Hemlock makes a lovely tea. Well, it's not my favorite tea, but it makes a good tea, vitamin C. This will kill you, okay? <laughs> um, it's very toxic. They are using this to, to cure some cancer. Uh, someone found out a, a while back that it cures cancer, and they're actually harvesting it in Quebec for that reason. But um, it's very toxic, okay? So don't make a tea out of it, but also a lot of, uh, not a lot, but there's a strong amount of YouTubers out there that are saying it, the, the berry is edible. First of all, it's not a berry, it's a cone. It's a cone bearing, it's conifer. It's cone bearing. And yeah, that red um, flesh around the seed or around the cone is edible. I don't know why you would do that, because if you eat the seed, you're dead, okay? Uh, it st stops your heart, uh, it lowers your blood pre pressure. Yeah, it, it just, just saw a deer. That's kind of cool. <laughs> And again, they're a deer are loving browsing this stuff here. We can't do that, but the deer can. Um, yeah, so don't eat the berry or the comb. So here, have a look at it again. This is Canna Hue. The whole ground is covered in this. Uh, I know this area. Um, I, I see it all the time. And that's why I came here to, to show you, but you can't see it now because it's covered in snow. And you can see where the deer have browsed it. All right, so Canna Hue. No stoma lines. It's a ground bush. Not a tree, not eastern hemlock. Eastern hemlock is a tree, and um, and uh, again, no stoma lines and a little point at the tip. We got to go because your paws are cold, aren't they? No, oh, Kevin, let's get out of here. Who cares about poisonous plants, trees, and shrubs? See the sandwich. That's what I would do. Mm, sandwich. All right, just stopping along the trail here to show you something else. I haven't found hemlock yet, but I will. But this is balsam fir, which looks like hemlock. Uh, it doesn't look like can, can of you. Well, it, it does, but it's a tree. It's not a shrub, so it grows up. But just to show you, balsam fir has needles that seem to be flat on the twig, just like hemlock and can of you. Whoa, man, this is cold on the fingers. Uh, but it has no stoma lines, okay? So if you see a very small balsam fir, don't mistake it to, uh, to be can of you or vice versa. Again, this makes a not a bad tea, actually, okay tea, but uh, don't mistake it for Canada Hue. So, yes, it has no stoma lines, just like Canada Hue, but it's a tree, not a shrub. It's a wheat tree, actually, and it has balsam resin blisters on it as well. I gotta, I gotta go. My, my fingers are frozen. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Okay, just stopped along here to show you those resin blisters the balsam has. It's a bit of an older tree, so has, has one. There, it's right there, see? We stuff comes out, really makes a great fire starter. Yeah, that's balsam, not kind of hue. Again, it's a tree, not a bush. And its needles look like they're flat on the twig, like hemlock. Hemlock are truly flat, and kind of hue as, as well. But when you really look at balsam, they're twisting and then look flat, so they're not truly flat. But you can identify balsam easy, just those pimples on the trunk. All right. 
beautiful day. It's just awfully cold. We gotta keep moving. All right, Angel. You ready to go? Are you cold? Hey. Okay, I should have went the other way on the trail. Um, went into the maple and beach stand because I know there's hemlock there, but I decided to do another different loop. Right near my car, I find a hemlock. Uh, it shouldn't be here too. It's months cedar and balsam and pine. I don't know. Uh, anyway, this is the hemlock tree. If you look on the under underbelly, you see white stoma lines. Oh, that's not the underbelly. This is the underbelly. <laughs> There you go. Okay, see the white lines? That's hemlock, not balsam, not Canada, Canada hue. True flat needles on the branch, white stoma lines, and also a lot stubbier and greener, darker green than the balsam, but similar to the Canada hue. Don't mess them up. Make tea out of this, the other one will kill you.